It's almost October. The wind's getting chilly. Leaves are starting to fall. Gotta start wearing vests and Ugg boots and get pumpkin spice everything. But more importantly, that means Lego. So today we're gonna check out the new stuff that's coming out on Lego and we're gonna see what all they got to offer. We'll also check out some of the gifts with purchase that are coming out as well. So I'll do that at the end. So if you're not interested in all the new stuff that's coming out on October 1st or the first week of October, skip to the end and enjoy. I apologize if I sound a little tired. I'm just tired. Adulthood, work, other things, bills. Nonetheless, let's get started. So we'll take a look here. And first thing we have up is the mini Disney Palace of Agrabah. It's coming in at around $39.99, so 40 US dollars on October 1st. 506 pieces. What you see is what you get. It's just a mini design of the Agrabah Palace. It's built out like the architecture stuff. So if you're into that, cool, have fun. It's all you. Next, we have a, a few coming in for the new movie called Wish. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about this movie. I didn't watch the trailer or anything. I know nothing. I'm just showing you what they got. So it's uh, Asha in the City of Roses. I'm probably butchering how to say that the right way. Whatever. 20 US dollars October 1st, 154 pieces. Not a bad deal. You know, it's a Disney set, so the licensing fees and all that. It's very small, but for $20 in the world of Lego where it stands today, not a bad deal. Looks like you get a minifig and a little pet goat cheap. Thing, whatever it is <clears throat> some cool little sticker designs here on the uh, looks like the one by one plates and some designs in the back end here as well so a lot of cool little uh, extra pieces that you might not get elsewhere uh, a lot of cool little cups and flower designs so if you're into building your own things this might be a good pickup if you're into the extra pieces or if you just really like the movie next is king magnifico's castle also from the wish movie at 100 us dollars for 613 pieces it's not a bad deal when it comes to the disney licensing a couple mini figs actually comes with three mini figs which is pretty sweet especially if you're a kiddo looking into this stuff it's built out like all the friends stuff so usually with friend sets they have the beautiful front side and then the back sides open to play with i like the tiered system here, here again you get three minifigs one with a cape which is nice because you don't see that very much anymore especially like in the star wars realm you don't get that nearly enough a lot of cool little pieces in here so if you're into building your own castles or anything like that there's a lot of cool little intricate designs in here that it could be useful to you moving on we have asha's cottage for 50 us dollars on october 1st 509 pieces three minifigs they have a lot of unique pieces in here like the door shades and these pieces that they use for like the hay roofing. Uh, $50 for 509 pieces. This is probably your best deal. Looks like the back side is open as well. Um, again, that tiered little system they have set up so you actually have some cool playability with it. If you've got kiddos that are into Disney stuff, this might be for you. Then we have the Lego Ideas Viking Village. This one we talked about before in a previous video. 130 US dollars, as you can see, I've got it saved. I think this would be a really cool one to have. 2100 pieces, you get four Vikings with it. A, such really good design. It would really go well if you got the serpentine ship or whatever it's called. Especially if you're looking for some of that nostalgic feel. If you're really a big fan of the knights and the kingdoms and all that fun stuff, this is right up your alley. I really hope LEGO continues this trend of releasing some of these types of sets. $130, 2100 pieces. Seems very low pricing, but it's mostly just because the pieces are all the tiny little detail stuff so then we have one set from marvel coming out in october for 90 us dollars it's the hoopty which is one of the spaceships from one of the new marvel movies i've really lost interest in marvel it's kind of gone downhill in my opinion so i have zero interest in this but if you're a big marvel fan this could be right up your alley 90 dollars 420 pieces Ouch, that's a bit pricey, but you do get three minifigs and you get three cats, two kittens, one cat. And I do really like this translucent orange. You don't see that very much anymore. So if you're into your own custom buildings, just like I said with the Disney stuff, this is right up your alley too. This is a pretty 
hard to find piece. Then we're starting to see more Christmas sets getting released because we're in the quarter four. So we have the Alpine Lodge as part of the icons theme for 100 US dollars, 1500 pieces. This one's really cool. They have a nice log cabin feel to it. Five minifigs. Technically I'd say four and a half because you have a kid there. So they always kind of, you get a cool little snowmobile with a tree and outhouse, which is super fun. And then they have the similar designs they used for the Viking Village tree they're starting to be, come out with some more unique designs for that type of stuff so it feels really authentic and real this is a beautiful one if you want to pick up and add to your christmas decorations it is coming out october 4th with an early release for the first four insiders. Continuing with the Christmas themes, we have the Lego Nutcracker. If you're like a Nutcracker and you want a Lego version, there you go. 208 pieces, it's a quick little pickup. I'd say this is probably a good stocking stuffer. I'm not gonna get it because I've never even liked the regular Nutcracker, but it's Christmas themed, so pretty cool. Then we have this one, the gingerbread ornaments for 13 US dollars, 190 pieces. This is really fun idea with Lego kind of going with the craftsy, craft, crafty, craftsy type of thing. You can build your own gingerbread man. This would be a really fun family activity that you could probably do like every Christmas. You build them, put them up on your Christmas tree and then take them back down, take it apart for next year. And then you can make that like a, a tradition. So this is really fun. I think this is a pretty cool one. I might actually pick this one up because I feel like this would be a real fun decorating activity with my kids. Might actually pick up a couple of them just so we have more. But this is a really uh, you, ingenious move lego i like it good move good move then we have the final releases for star wars typically they don't have their big releases this time of year they'll usually do like one big thing which we already know what that big thing is this one is the millennium falcon holiday diorama it feels weird to me um because it doesn't if you took all the decorations out and the characters out it wouldn't feel like the millennium falcon to me it would just seem like some sort of star wars-esque thing but it's it's definitely fun i hope they do more of these i think this is something people would really hang on to and love especially if you had like a christmas tradition to pick up one of these uh, one of my christmas traditions is to pick up a new ornament for my christmas tree every year and it's usually something fun having something like this to be a christmas tradition too would be really cool so I hope they continue to release more stuff like this. Even though this one's a little bit wonky, it's still pretty cool. So 30 US dollars, October 1st for 282 pieces. Pick one up if you're interested. And last but certainly not least, the Venator class Republic Attack Cruiser. This is one that is on my bucket list and I will pray and hope to God that I can actually afford to buy this someday. This thing is a monstrosity. This thing is beautiful. I love every little thing about it. I love all the details. It's one of my favorite ships in Star Wars. I'm super excited for it. I just hope that someday I can get this. And I'm sure there's many of you that are on that same wish list as I am where you could be granted the money needed to buy such a beautiful set. This set is $650 for 5,300 pieces. This is the big kahuna for Star Wars this year, the big UCS set. I love everything about it. I want it. I hope you want it. Everybody should want it. Everybody should just get this for free forever. That's my opinion. Let's just give it to everybody. $399. We do $399. I can afford that. Yeah, I, we can do that. I can, I can pull that out. And there you have it. That is all the stuff coming out in October. Let's move on to the GWPs. So the first one is a regular appearance with the Halloween Fun VIP add-on pack. The VIP packs are always a fun little addition. I love having these. It's a $10 pack, but usually it's for about $50 purchase. We'll get you one of these bad boys for free. I love all the fun stuff they put in it. Looks like this year's no different. They have some cool stuff in here with like a creepy little door. I see a pie. Of course, you gotta have the skull head, but I see a cool like, see like a waffle and a cool helmet. Bunch of different things that I didn't see in the last one. So I think this one would be really cool to pick up, especially at, it's usually a very low price point. I think it's supposed to be 50 US dollars. Definitely an easy one to get with pretty much any Lego set or maybe two Lego sets would get you this. And the other GWP is the Magic Maze, which is a, a handheld game where you take the ball and you try to get it through the maze. It's like the old stuff you'd find back in the 90s. So right up my alley. This thing's really cool. Love the design around it. 
They have not given out a date for this, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's in early or late October that they release this. Given that it's a $30 price point, I'd say it's probably going to be $150. They have not released the uh, amount you have to spend to receive said gift. And it's also very likely that it's going to be part of the Insiders Club stuff. So if you're not in the Insiders program already, go ahead and join up because it I have a very strong feeling it's going to be locked for members. Like, do you remember playing stuff like that? You hit the little thing and then you just tried to get the thing through the things in the maze. They were like super frustrating because the ball would always like go flying. Ah, I loved it. I loved it and hated it so much. But there you go. That's all I have today. So don't forget to be good, be kind, be well, and I'll catch you later.